but it's fun. The most crazy movie across into real world thing that I've learned about is this modified RX-9 Hellfire missile. Have you seen this? No. This thing is insane. Do, do the honors, Jamie. Let's look at this. So, is it the, one of the hypersonic missiles that changes directions? This is more precise. So what they realized <laughs> was that collateral damage is a big deal in war zones because if you kill people that aren't just the target, you galvanize that group against your... Yeah, there it is. America's secret ninja bomb packed with blades that shred militants alive. Oh my God. So there's no explosive in the front of it. It gets deployed using the, an existing platform, but rather than having an explosive payload, these l razor sharp, six razor sharp swords come out the side of it and just turn human flesh into smoothies. Whew. Look at what it does to a car. Oh my God. But th how precise this thing is. It's so precise. Yeah, the flying Jinsu. Uh, I think it's colloquially called the Jihadi Blender. Oh, my God. And they uh, just shoot it into cars. So it's so precise that you need to know which seat of the car the... Uh, the bad guy's in. Ba bad dude's in, yeah. Because if it was a long enough vehicle, front right seat and back left seat, back left seat will be scared, but it'll be fine. So there was this dude, uh, one of them, supposedly one of the masterminds behind 9-11. They'd done surveillance on this guy, and every morning he'd come out and drink his coffee on his balcony. Same balcony, he'd come out and he'd drink his coffee and, 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 and look out. So they just timed two of those things. Comes out, and that's it. There's no explosion. There's no nothing. And this guy just gets turned into dust. <sighs> they, shot, they shot two of them at him? Two. It, just in case the first one missed, I think. Oh, my God. Laser guided, set it off. And here's the other thing, because it only propels for the first two seconds, and then after that it's just using fins, so it works out the trajectory. So it, there's not even the sound of engine coming toward you. It's just oh. silence, and then blades, and death. Oh, it's a flying, it's a flying rage hypodermic. <laughs> Do you know what a rage hypodermic is? No. Rage hy hypodermic is a wild mechanical broadhead that they invented for bow hunting. So instead of a bow hunting broadhead being a fixed blade like a solid piece of metal that's screwed into the end of your arrow instead it's a mechanical broadhead that upon impacting tissue opens up into this huge opening they make giant holes they call them rage holes and they kill animals quick and it's kind of controversial in the in that if your blade hits a branch on the way in or 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 a, like a stalk of hay or It'll something like it. that. It could trigger it, and then it would fuck up the trajectory of the arrow, and it might lead to a bad shot. 